Is the row over the Manipur ADC Bill 2021 widening the divide between the valley and the hill areas once again? Is the situation threatening to spiral out of hand? The locking down of Atsum office by a valley-based organization in Imphal, the torching of vehicles in the hill areas, parts of the state and the hill valley divide over the economic blockade imposed by the All Tribal Students Union of Manipur is threatening to escalate things further at a time when the government seems to be in no mood to budge as far as the ADC bill demand is concerned. What is worrisome are the reports of arson coming in. While a vehicle was burned in Bishnupur district, reports of retaliatory burning of vehicle is coming in from Churachandpur. The incident took place at Tidim Road near Kaparang village. Well, the draft Autonomous District Council's Amendment Bill 2021 seeks greater financial and administrative autonomy in the hill region of the state and hence the stakes are high. Ignoring the Artsum's demand for tabling the bill, the BJP-led government in the state introduced the 6th and 7th Manipur Hill Areas District Council's Amendment Bills 2022 during the budget session. While the 6th Amendment Bill has been passed, the 7th Amendment Bill was referred to HAC. Now, with both the government and the Artsum refusing to budge from their stance, things are looking grim. So big story at this point in time, viewers from the state of Manipur, is the row over the Manipur ADC Bill 2021 widening the divide between the valley and the hill areas once again? Is the situation threatening to spiral out of hand? Well, the locking down of Atsum office by a valley-based organization in Imphal, the torching of vehicles in the hill areas, parts of state and hill valley divide, over the economic blockade imposed by the All Tribal Students Union of Manipur is threatening to escalate things further at a time when the government seems to be in no mood to budge as far as the ADC bill demand is concerned. And what is worrisome are the reports of arson coming in. While a vehicle was burned in Bishnupur district, reports of retaliatory burning of vehicles is coming in from Churachandpur. The incident took place at Tidim Road near Kaprang village. Meanwhile, the five arrested all tribal students' union Manipur leaders who were once again produced in court today have been sent to 15-day judicial custody. The Atsum leaders were produced before the CJM court in Fal West after their four-day police remand ended. So, amid protests demanding unconditional release of the five arrested Atsum leaders, the court of Chief Judicial Magistrate Imphal West today remanded the leaders of 15-day judicial custody. Interestingly, the counsels of accused did not object to the prayer for judicial custody remand. The I.O. submitted that the shutdown or band in the hill areas Notified by the Atsum has taken an ugly turn as they have converted the Bund into economic blockade and adopted violence as means of protest. It was also argued that the associates of the accused set ablaze the DTO office at Churachandpur and a police vehicle belonging to Ukrul police, thereby vandalizing government property. Meanwhile, Hengang Police Station also sought permission of the judge for formal arrest of five accused in connection with another FIR registered against the accused for similar offences of calling Bund or economic blockade and obstructing movement of vehicles. The court observed that multiple FIRs cannot be registered for same offences against the accused and rejected the permission for formal arrest. The court, however, said that the police can go ahead with necessary investigation without arresting them. It may be mentioned here that economic blockage along the national highways is still underway. It may be mentioned here that the Atsum has been demanding the immediate release of its leaders besides a tabling of the Hill Areas ADC Bill 2021. 
On the other hand, following the 15-day judicial custody remand, the All Tribal Students Union Manipur is gearing up to intensify its protest. Speaking to North East Live, Atsum Executive Member Paul Karam said, the intense forms of agitation will continue till the time their leaders are released. He also informed that an emergency rally of the union will be convened tomorrow to take a call on the peaceful rally that was thwarted by the police today. Not only this, the Atsum has also convened a consultative meet of all tribal CSO leaders at Senapati on Monday. We, the tribal student, all college tribal students residing here in Nepal, we strongly appeal the state government to release our arrested leader unconditionally. Today, CGM has produced another 15 days to the arrested tribal leaders. So this is very unfortunate to see. We appeal the state government. We strongly against this decision. We the student community to revoke this decision and to release our tribal leader unconditionally. If the state government did not fulfill our demand or did not release our arrested leader within a few days, we will take up the strong agitation here in Nepal, in, in Nepal, in the Valley City. So today we could not be able to conduct the peaceful rally, but tomorrow we are going to cancel all the tribal intellectuals and all the student community Residing here in Nepal will be conducting a big meeting to all the tribe communities 